Um, so we made a visit actually to Louisville a couple of weeks ago, and we got to um, hang out with the folks from D's Hats here in D Louisville. D's Hats. That's D's the Hats. Name. D's Hats. That's right. D's <laughs> hats. So anyway, uh, we talked to the owner about kind of the history of it. So it was really cool. So check out this story. This is D's hats in Louisville. It has grown. And if you go back to the history of hats, they literally were wearing hats at the very first derby. It was an outing. The women dressed up. The men did the betting. But it was always a fashion show, always. But over the years... In the 1920s, 30s, there, there wasn't a lot of hat wearing that we see today, so we got a spell of no hats. And then we started back in the 50s and 60s, starting to wear hats again. But it really has picked up every year because I, I think a lot of it has to do with the tracks themselves are making it a fashion event. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The women love dressing up, and if you know today, there's not that many places we dress up for. So this gives us a really right. nice opportunity to dress up. It's become sort of the uniform that you wear yes. to the derby, and yeah. it's not complete unless you have the hat. No, and you know what? The men are really getting into it now, too. The, the men are coordinating their outfits with their women. They're wearing hats. They're wearing the pelt pins. They're wearing a special tie. So it definitely is a fashion thing, and it's a lot of fun. Welcome to the sugar plantation. Yes. Down here. Yes, it is warm. <laughs> I'm making it into glisten, honey. <sighs> How many hats do you think are in this room right now where we are? Uh, we probably have a couple thousand at least on the floor and we have more in storage. It has gone to a larger hat. It used to be a larger brim yeah. with not as much on it. Now there's a lot going on. Yeah. A lot of feathers, a lot of flowers. Everybody has their style that they want. But then you still have those people come in who want a very classic look, not a lot of frou-frou on their hat. So, and that's what makes it interesting because you get all these different styles. Would you recommend some neck strengthening exercises for those women who are going to have the hats that has, you know, a pug on top of it? Or? There are a few oh. hats. <laughs> oh you God. are a few hats. Well, that's going to be kind of heavy. I don't care. I'll figure it out. What is like maybe the craziest hat that you can remember making or the size or something you, know, you remember? There's so many. This year we did three hats for one lady that as a trainer or has some horses uh, married to a trainer. And they literally are this wide. Mm. They're beautiful. Yeah. But I can't imagine wearing that hat all day long. Oh my gosh, you can get HBO with this thing. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone more beautiful wearing a, uh, a mosquito net. Oh, man. I felt good. I felt... Protected uh, very from protected. West Nile. Is it DEET that's in there that keeps you... That's what it is. Yeah, she that's... sprays the hat down with DEET. I do, and then I just shake it around. Okay. Now, yeah. listen. We have more coming up as we're going to make some cocktails for okay. you as we celebrate Oaks Day. We're broadcasting live from Churchill Downs. We're You're back. watching Live with Lee and Haley. Yes, we're back right after this. It's live.